I'm recording right now, so everything that you say will and can be used against you. <laughs> Hello, my name is Ruben de Haas. I'm an artist from Amsterdam. This week, we're turning good type into bad type. I started off as a lettering artist. In recent years, I've taken away shape and form entirely, and now I just make solid blocks of color. Today, we are talking to Ricardo Gonzalez, aka It's a Living. So, <laughs> number three. Hey, how's it going? Good, it's going, it's going. First up, can you uh, say a little bit about what you do? I'm a lettering artist and muralist and fine art now, artist with letters. And why do you do what you do? I just love it, man. It's a, it's a lifestyle, you know. People ask me why it's a living. It's, you know, it's a living because it's a, it's a way to make, earn my living, you know. Somehow through letters, which is very niche and very, very unique, but it's possible, you know. What was the first word that you were writing? I mean, did you start with It's a Living straight away or what? how did it go? Um, no, it wasn't like that. I mean, honestly, I started on Tumblr. And so is your, is your Tumblr still up as well? It's dash a dash living oh yeah here we go and and it, everything was analog so it was really nice to experiment with like inks and markers and i like this uh cut from cloth wow. i remember that one but because um yeah definitely just grab an old shirt and kind of cut it with like an exacto knife but that was like the essence of that kind of like exploring you know what can i do with like maybe cloths i don't know inks are you still trying out different materials all the time, or are are you? Did you find your uh, your sweet medium? Um, I guess my sweet spot is just like I love spray paint. It's just fun because it's a tool that doesn't really touch the surface, so it's tricky, it's fast, it's it's it, you know I love that so much. I remember it being like fairly difficult to make like clean lines with it and. If you hold it too close to the wall, you get those drips. If you hold it far away, you get these like, ah, you don't see it anymore. How did you, how was your like first experience with like spray cans? Do you remember any of that? Uh, I do, I do. I mean, back then here in Mexico, we didn't have like cheap cans. And I used to go to like hardware stores and steal the, the caps from other products. So that's how I like found <laughs> like fat caps, you know, orange caps and all that. So that was, those were good times, just like <laughs> stealing stuff. You sent through a few things? All these are an exercise with my left hand, which I'm trying to use more. When I paint big murals, I can use my left hand because big lines, no problem. Small lines like this, super shaky. And what made you think of to draw with your left hand? Um, I think it's, it's just an exercise because I don't have practice. So for maybe some for some people that want to start doing it and like they see my work and they're like, oh, it's so perfect. It's actually not. So, and I mean, it just takes practice. That's, that's all. I mean, I, I think... Looking at one of the videos could be fun. It says keep. Oh my god! I was, I was surprised. I, I it kind of made it okay on on the first two letters, but then it just got super tricky because K E the E was actually going decent, and then it just got super shaky. So yeah, <laughs> I think there's a a lot of like a conception about like letters. They should be super perfect, and to me. I think it's nice to to let it flow, you know. The way we write, it's 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 very unique. We don't like nobody has the same writing, so that's our our personal print into something that is tangible and readable as letters. Beautiful. Let's go back to okay. the video. <laughs> I, I think it's like because when my right hand, like the lines are like super clean, you know, and <laughs> the left is just super shaky. Uh, it's so confronting when you're working with your other hand. Like you feel your hand is still three or three years old, or maybe not even. You know, there's so little control over it. And uh, I sometimes I think like, okay, maybe from now on I should just start working only with my left hand for the next ten years. But then even if I would do it for ten years, right, my hand would be like ten or twelve years old, and my other hand will still be like 33 years old, you know? So it, they'll never be able to get to the same level. I like that. I like yeah. that. I think that's the beauty of it. And it's humbling because you, you're like, oh, I can always do it, you know, with this side. It's always good, consistent, you know? But then it's like, ooh, now it's going to look like a three-year-old, you know? <laughs> so in a way, it's humbling. We all start from the same level, you know? We all, like, barely can write when we're, like, kids, you know? And there's a progression. It just takes time, practice, that's all. We kind of already talked about it, but 
why did you want to show your bad type? You know, it's it's uh, it could be a fun exercise that, that we take for granted. We never do it because we're so used to use one hand or the other, you know. And then I implement that when I'm painting big murals. There's there are times that where I cannot reach certain angle and I need to use my left hand and it feels good. I like it. It keeps it fun. Nice. And what's your next personal challenge for yourself that you've set? I just had a crazy big show in Paris, 23 pieces, 40 story mural. So it's for me time to like chill and then figure out where to go next because I think it's 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 healthy, you know, to stop and then think where you're going next and then yeah, take a take a little bit of time for yourself. Well, thanks for thanks for sharing your bad time with us today. <laughs> All right, all right. Well, thank you so much, man. It's been nice to chat with you and then catch up, you know. All right, man. Thanks, thanks. Ciao. So that was episode number three with Ricardo Gonzalez. You can check out his work on his Instagram or on his website. Tomorrow we're back with episode number four, where we will be talking with Niels Mulman, a.k.a. Shu. So stay tuned and see you tomorrow.